to use Apple Pencil on macOS with Sidecar. Sidecar allows for the direct control of macOS straight from an iPad. The platform supports Apple Pencil for drawing and painting and even works wirelessly. Setting up Sidecar is straightforward. On both a Mac and an iPad, sign into either device with the same Apple ID. For the first time connection, plug in an Apple Lightning to USB connector or a USB-C connector between the Mac and the iPad. To enable Sidecar, select AirPlay menu bar, iPad, use as separate display or mirror. In this example, I have both the sidebar and touch bar enabled. The sidebar offers keyboard shortcuts such as command and option, which can be triggered on the iPad. The touch bar emulates the keyboard touch strip found on many recent MacBook Pros. Mac OS 10.15 Catalina is required on the Mac side, and iOS 13 is required on the iPad side. Both the Mac and the iPad need to be signed in with the same Apple ID. In general, Macs released in the year 2016 or later support Sidecar, and hardware includes a mix of both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. Here's a complete list of supported hardware. And the supported list of iPad models are as follows. Once Sidecar is initiated through AirPlay, additional settings can be found under System Preferences, Displays. The arrangement of the monitors can be set, which includes drag and drop support for moving windows between the screens using a mouse. Display resolutions can also be adjusted, as well as the ability to mirror the macOS desktop to the iPad display rather than functioning as a second monitor. Once connected, the iPad feels very much like an additional display with a few bonuses. The iPad screen functions like a giant trackpad and use the same multi-touch gestures such as two fingers for scrolling. The Apple Pencil brings excellent stylus control from the iPad to the Mac. Pixelmator Classic worked right away without the need to configure any additional settings. Pressure sensitivity was enabled by default, and the Apple Pencil is an exceptional stylus for drawing and painting. Adding layers and tracing images felt exceptionally comfortable. At this point, I disconnected the iPad from its USB port and Sidecar switched over to Wi-Fi display instantly. I was able to wander around my office drawing on the screen without a noticeable drop in quality. After learning the basics, I can confidently report that Sidecar is a comfortable way to work with drawing applications. GarageBand was fun, but not perfect. I'm used to drawing MIDI information with a Wacom Intuos and found that the iPad Mini was a bit too small for this kind of detail, especially since the piano roll can't be rescaled. But the stylus was a nice way to edit my composition. Lastly, DaVinci Resolve was a fun experience. The mouse-driven interface adapted very well to the iPad, and I could import media and start a project. I was able to draw on the viewer and track a mask. And since the iPad can be used to either mirror the primary display or serve as a second display, I ended up moving the waveform monitor over to the iPad and worked primarily off of the Mac. And I could see myself doing this from now on in my home office. And that's getting started with Sidecar in Mac OS and iPad OS. Getting set up with the software is quick and easy to learn. I quite enjoy driving Mac OS from a portable screen. Now, it's worth mentioning that if you've used drawing tablets previously, such as a Wacom Cintiq or Wacom Intuos, the Apple Pencil does function a little bit differently. For example, if you hover your stylus above the screen, it doesn't move the mouse cursor and you can't control the Max monitor by using the stylus on the iPad as if it were a mouse. That's something that drawing tablets have historically offered. Um, so you, you are only working on the iPad screen. Sidecar is worth checking out and the Apple Pencil is an exceptional stylus. It's very comfortable to hold and use on the Mac.